Hey, what's up, guys? Bert Meister here, and if you watched my last video, I was talking about texture packs, and at the end, you're gonna need MC Patcher. So, in this video, I'm showing you how to use and install MC Patcher. Anyway, I'm on MinecraftForum.net, and here's the page of the MC Patcher. It shows you how to use it and stuff like that, but, um,. Windows only download links like Mac. There's the download wink links winks. <laughs> anyway, because I'm Windows, I'm doing Mediafire and now you just do skip add and now what you do is you download it. And when you download, it'll say save file or run file, press save, and it'll start downloading. And uh, at the end, it'll say run or open file, press open file. I'm not going to uh, do that because I already have MC Patcher right there. But when you press open file or folder, whatever it says, it'll come up in your downloads folder and it'll be like right there. Right, so there it is. Now, I don't, in fact, wait. Oh, I made a copy of it. So here, I'll, I'll do this for you guys just for the sake of it. Let me delete this one. Okay, so just drag and drop. There you go. Now, before you start, you want to go to your Minecraft. And what you want to do is force update. Just go here to options, press force update and done, and then log in. Alright, so once you've done that, come over here to your start screen, or menu, whatever you want to call it. Press percent app data percent, and you'll get up with roaming. Click on roaming, and you'll see dot minecraft and all this other stuff. What you want to do is right click on dot minecraft. And what you want to do is make a backup of it. So just press copy and then right click on your desktop and press paste. Alright, but I already have a backup of it, so I'm good. Now that all that's done. Let me just open it. Uh, man, I'm tired. <sighs> yeah. Come on. Open up. Here, give me a sec. Alright, so all I did was just stop the recording so it would load up faster. <laughs> uh, but sometimes when you uh, click on it, it'll come up with a screen saying, Oh, you have something that this thing does not recognize, blah, blah, blah. Like yeah, if you have any mods installed or stuff like that. Uh, all you have to do is just press OK and it will come to the screen. So what you want to do is, you see all these check marks and everything, just check all that I have here that's checked. You don't have to worry about the better glass or custom colors and stuff. It's all good. You are able to install mods using MC Patcher. I'm not too sure how that works, but um, I'm not really going to mess with it. I don't really want to screw anything up. So. Anyway, so once when you're done checking all that stuff, just press patch, and you can see it's patching up. Files to Minecraft jar. Alright, so that's done. Now you can just press X, start up your Minecraft. Here, give me a second. I'm going to stop the recording and come back. Alright, so I'm on one of my worlds and actually this is my mini golf world cool been looking for this anyway once you get on you'd see that when you go look at water it usually say use the patcher noob on it well obviously it isn't and to make sure it would definitely say use the patcher noob on running water like a waterfall also, if you don't believe me yet, dig a few blogs down and there won't be any fires on stone.
So that's how you know it's working. Anyway, if this helped you, please leave a like, and if you have any questions, feel free to comment. Thanks for watching, and good luck.